Hey guys, it's your boy Lester Prosper, and I'm tuned in with your boy from the Philippines, Ishmael Manongdo. Peace. And I'm Ismail. What's up? Lester Prosper. What's up? During the time when you are playing in the PBA, what is your favorite PBA PBA moment? I will have to say my favorite PBA moment was um, definitely Hinebra versus Justin Brownlee. <laughs> I'll I'll, def I'll definitely say that. Um. Brownlee's like Michael Jordan of the PBA. You know, he's been over there for a while. Um, and he respects the culture just, just like I do. You know, he respects the people. He loves the people. He loves the fans and very humble guy. And, um, you know, playing against somebody like that, playing against a, a team like that, you know, top-notch team with Scotty Thompson. Man, that, that, that guy, he's short, but he could rebound. Jesus Christ. You know, have very athletic. Um, you know, 45 points for me, 50 points for Justin Brownlee. We were going back and forth. It was unbelievable. That was an unbelievable game for me, you know. And I, I prayed a lot before that, before that game. You know, I'm very spiritual, so, you know, I have to pray before my games and, and um, you know, just align myself with God. You know, so it was... Um, it was it was pretty pretty spiritual. How about PBA game that you will never forget? That's it right there, a and beating San Miguel also. You know, beating San Miguel because that they're they're the champs. So beating them also was um, you know, that was another game to remember. It was good. In your playing in, in your playing days in PBA, who is your toughest matchup? My toughest matchup. Um, who was my toughest matchup? I, I have to say, Junma was one of my toughest matchups. Um, because of how how strong he is, man. Um, you know him and um Charles Rhodes. That was tough. That. Because you know I'm, I'm like the only big guy that sort of from a half. So battling with Ju you know banging against Juma Fajardo, and then you know they substitute Charles Rowe comes in, Charles Rowe goes out. You know it was it was like I had to yeah you, you just have to use your brain. You know see see pick the weak weakness in their game and um, attack that. You know so fortunately uh, my my shots were dropping that night and. You know, we came away with a win. Filipino fans really appreciate your you because of your hard work on the court and being a gentle giant of the court. Any chance that you will come back here in the Philippines to play? Of course, of course. I'm just waiting for this um this situation to be over with. But I I should be um in the bubble on um, February, I think 15. You know that I enter the bubble for the Asia Cup. So. I'll be seeing some of the guys over there also, you know? Thank you. Given your current standing in FIBA, what are your expectations in facing the Philippine team, especially going against your former teammate, CJ Perez? Um, the expectation is basically to go hard and win. That's, that's what it is. You gotta, you gotta, when you're, it doesn't matter if I'm playing against my brother or my sister, I'm trying to win. You know, so those guys are like my brothers, you know, but at the end of the day, we're trying to win. And, and, and that's that's what, you know, that's what, what I'm in this for, to win, you know, give your best. So are you excited for your upcoming matchup? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to play Thailand. I'm excited to play Philippines. I'm excited to play Korea. If they come, if they end up coming, you know, I'm excited. Bat it's basketball. You know, if you're not excited to, when you hop on that court, then you shouldn't be doing this, you know? 
Maiko Toroman used to be the head coach of Gilas Pilipinas way back 2009. A well-traveled coach. How is it playing for Coach Raiko? Um, he's very, very tough, very, very um, hardworking, uh, very specific. You know, me, actually me and um, me and Coach Toroman, we used to bump heads um, when, he first, when I first got here, you know. Um, but, you know, I got to put egos to the side, you know, both both of us, you know. So I put my ego to the side, he put his ego to the side. And um, we just, you know, we communicate as men and we um, we move forward to to make this this job happen, you know. Thank you, thank you. So, yeah, you know, he's a, he's a good guy. He's hard, he's hard, he's tough, but deep down he's a good guy. This is also my last question. What advice could you give to someone wants to play basketball? Um, watch watch a lot of YouTube videos of your favorite player of your position, um, because you know, uh, um, you know, you just have to you just have to continue to do watch watch a lot of um, professional players. Um, you gotta uh, continue to to. Um, practice a lot repetition is key um you know um you have to have a a, a, a no giving up attitude you know you got to be persistent you know uh, um and you have to have a warrior spirit you know keep going and, and and don't listen to people don't listen to the naysayers you know if somebody tell you you can't do it don't listen to them keep going keep going keep going always you know, that's, Thank you that's very what I got to say. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Mr. Prosper. Uh, again, it's been a privilege and it's been an honor for us in the last two minutes podcast having guesting you. Uh, do you have any messages at all for your fans in the Philippines and Indonesia and in the world? Yes, everybody just stay safe. Um, God bless you all. And, you know, um, I hope that we all could get over this um this, this pandemic and and um so we can see the fans back in the stadium and that's about it stay safe and 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 that's it and thank you again sir and uh, stay safe as well good luck to your uh to the tournament in the bubble so be- again before we end the podcast we definitely get to know better mr lester prosper of the naturalist player of indonesia and the one of the beloved imports of the PBA as well. So to all our viewers, thank you for watching. See you in our next episode. Thanks. Peace. Peace out.